Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. Okay guys, so I finally moved into the new apartment and even though it's a smaller apartment, it definitely feels different and it gives different vibes. So I'm definitely gone switch to another background as I go and I'm really hoping you can not hear my fridge going or my AC going if so I mean just bear with me because I'm kind of gonna adjust everything as I go I was trying to film a couple of videos and I was trying to adjust all the lights and all that stuff holy moly it took me so long but I'm very grateful for what I got right now and what I'm able to get out of my setup so let's just have fun today okay let's just do that on the chill moment Mode and we're gonna just go with the flow. Let's just jump right into checking out our box. And you guys know it's a spooky season, okay? And the funniest part, on October 31st, I'm actually having two doctor's visits. One of them is actually a procedure that will be done on my tooth that apparently needs to be treated in some special way. So yeah, wish me luck. And it's all in a spooky season, like the spookiest day of the season, okay? And the other one is my allergies and I'm gonna be tested again because apparently I have allergies on every living thing out there and even inside of the place, so yeah, that's always fun. But guys, I'm very excited, let's jump into the box and the theme of the month is gonna be beauty nightmare. So basically we have here some inspirational looks, we have some creators to follow that Ipsy recommends us to check out on and that's always cool to discover new people who's very good at what they're doing or who's inspiring you to do something better and you know being better version of yourself or maybe just you know improve yourself in this or that matter but i'm thinking let's start from my ipsy choices because we have two products that ipsy gave me without any chance to choose and i think i'm gonna start from this little baby and this is reina rebeldi on your face contour plus color trio in the shade adorada that retails for 23 dollars it's supposed to be a multi-use face palette that's gonna basically give you beautiful versatile glow it's gonna give you the bronzer look you need and also blush so i'm excited it is made in china and uh, it has seven gram and 12 months of a shelf life oh gosh i literally just torn the package and that's not good the package is super cute inside you see there's some roses and it's definitely lovely but the packaging by itself is plastic and it doesn't look as expensive as you would think it is and inside you see this colors for light skin tone and I'm definitely here for that. So the thing about this product, what I've read on the different sites when I was looking for some information about this, I read that apparently the third ingredient is talc, which is not quite good for, you know, people who's acne prone and actually in general for people who's looking for something more clean and, you know, they avoid using any chemicals or anything like talc in order not to get breakouts and stuff like that. But this is something for you to know. The price point is $23 so it's quite pricey but let's see how it's gonna look and I'm gonna say definitely from this color that's bronzing color and uh, I already have my foundation on let's bronze our face okay so I did my brush into this color and I'm trying to apply this onto my cheeks and so far it goes on nicely the color is not too warm it doesn't give me that like orange look and I'm always grateful for that it's so interesting guys the way how I look right now in the monitor like when I'm looking at the monitor over here and I see myself it just it's different my videos are gonna be different and I've already looked through different detailing and stuff that I can put on the background if you have any suggestions your opinion is actually really matters to me you know that if you have any suggestions or if you want to see something specific or you have some cool ideas don't forget to leave me a comments down below I always appreciate good thoughts and good ideas and it's always nice to get inspired by the people who you care about okay so first card was quite nice it's lovely blends really easily i barely use powder bronzer so it's really it's been a moment i'm not gonna lie it's definitely been a moment but let's check out this blush and i'm dipping my brush into this blush and let's just let's buff it kind of like a little higher than the cheekbone mm. 
when it blends with this bronzer it gives me almost like a little too dark of a color but still quite nice it doesn't have any shimmer it's definitely a satin powder it doesn't look too overwhelming but it's a powder blush so i mean it's really hard to mess up powder blush okay guys so i'm getting my headband because i feel like it's always an issue with my hair if it's down like it's messing up all the situation but yeah okay so blush looks okay not my preference and now highlighter let's see definitely cooler tone than i was anticipating it's not silky smooth but it's pretty fine so it looks quite lovely on the skin okay all right, we got it, we got it. And the other ETC choice I got here is gonna be actually a lip scrub. And this one is gonna be from a brand that's called Dalish. It's a lip scrub that retails for $18. It's supposed to be something that's gonna gently exfoliate dry lips, like always. It looks like almost like sugary. It's vegan cruelty free. Made in China, has nine grams, 12 months of a shelf life. And honestly, I mean, it's a cute packaging, the cute color and everything, like it's quite lovely. The only thing about this product it doesn't have a spoolie but i'm prepared and i have my own little clean spoolie that we're gonna utilize today for this lip scrub so i'm just gonna oil my lip i have some lip oil on and with those products a little goes a long way so we know that we went through that Ooh, it's actually so moussey that it's hard for me to pick this up Ooh, it's like very big chunks of sugar and it's scentless by the way mm -hmm. okay I have to use my fingers. I hate doing that, but that's the lip scrub. And I'm just wiping my lips. Mm, it's actually sweet. So, you know, that sugar is here. I mean, no matter what lip scrub you use in, you don't have to buy any expensive lip scrubs. They always will feel the same. They will get rid of the dead skin cells on your lips and will make your lips smoother, which is always a good thing. I'm gonna apply just the same lip gloss at this point, just to make sure I'm not overdoing that. Well, lips feel nice, definitely smoother, but I don't think there's anything like super amazing about this lip scrub. It's just a regular lip scrub. And for the price it is, you can definitely buy something a little cheaper and get the same result. But let's actually start from my choices i have three products that i chose and all of these three products were kind of something that i'm curious about let's start from this mist so this is makeup forever mist and fix 24 hour hydrating setting spray that retails for 35 dollars it's supposed to be alcohol free best for dry combo normal skin it's supposed to be very micro fine mist that's obviously will set your makeup and do all the good jazz it's vegan cruelty free gluten free and with the packaging you see that it's a clear bottle it's a plastic bottle i'm sure you're aware of this and um, you've seen this probably a million times in sephora i've been trying this before when i was working at sephora and it was nice mist but i never was into this and i could see that a lot of people were avoiding this mist because of the price point and this not being so popular it didn't get its moment but i know it's such a stable in uh, other people's routine because i've seen that people who really like makeup forever they would still come in and get their stables and they would not switch to anything let's say like charlotte tilbury or urban decay so yeah i'm curious i used this yesterday i'm not gonna lie i it was nice it's refreshing it's definitely hydrating and it's kind of reminded me of this spray that i have over here from refi kind of gives the same vibe to be honest but let's use it again today so even though it says that it's a very fine mist i'm not gonna lie to you guys it spits on you quite literally so it's not super fine but it does have quite quite pleasant smell, it doesn't smell overpowering, you see immediately that it's giving those places where I had highlighter and other you know glowy products on it gives them extra oomph and it's looking lovely it's a little damp but overall immediately you see that it's enhancing the features you want to be enhanced I like it so far I'm not gonna lie I quite enjoy this it's probably my favorite product out of these three I've tried so far and I know it's expensive I'm here with you guys <laughs> if you're willing to say that hey this is way too overpriced I'm here with you it's just something that if you got this please enjoy this was my choice and I do want to show you what other things I got in my choice section so you'll see that this was definitely the best item out of all this okay now actually when I have very comfortable little chair I am able to put my foot on the chair and be so comfy and it's so lovely the way how I was building everything and hope oh. I mean, I still didn't get all the furniture. It's been a hot minute when I was sitting down and actually not thinking about anything like 
that I need to buy this or that, I need to do this or that, and so on. It's been quite a project. So we have here Kevin Aquan. It's Unforgettable Lipstick Cream in Telmadora. Um, the color didn't call me, but I got another product from this brand, and um, I'm excited about that one. We also have here In Beauty Project. I used to like their products a lot. You know, there was a lip oil at some point, and it was very lovely, and it wasn't in a time when, you know, lip oils were blowing so much. It was in a time when it was kind of like saddle and they already launched a lip oil and I was using that. It smelled so nice and it just was so, so lovely and I loved it. But here I'm like, mm, probably not. Ultra Repair Cream. I have like three tubes of this and some of them I was gifted and other ones I bought and the other one I actually got for somebody and they didn't use it so I have them. Then we have Pro Gel from Hey Honey and we have also Highlighter Palette from Lumer Beauty. That was the other thing I was really curious about and honestly I was really in between this Makeup Forever spray and highlighter palette but I decided that you know what let's do setting spray because I'm literally lately I've been really into setting sprays. The last thing I want to mentioned about this little spray i mean it's not little but this spray you can use this to set your makeup you can use this to prep your face and also to refresh your face throughout the day which is always a good thing and especially knowing that my face doesn't feel sticky it just gives me another push to liking this product and actually reaching for that on a daily basis yeah and i think aloe and hyaluronic acid those two ingredients are very stable i don't think they are extraordinary and something that's you know super different and innovative but they are lovely and i mean i don't mind having in this spray in my collection and you know it has six months of a shelf life which will allow me to use this for quite some time and also i mean it's made in france and i know guys if you're watching my videos you definitely know my love to products that are made in france or italy i feel like the formula is just divine for some reason but it almost always works this way which is very amazing to see and i'll take Okay guys, I hope you're ready for my second choice. It's gonna be from Eloise Beauty and guys, I feel like my first BoxyCharm video was with Eloise Beauty. What was the name of the palette? I think it was the Queen palette and now we have in here Goddess. So this is Eloise Beauty Goddess eyeshadow palette, 3 deals for $32. It's supposed to be cruelty free, made in PRP, 9 colors and it has 24 months of a shelf life. It's just such a big moment for me considering that I've been using one of their palettes before and it was such a big push for me to like in colors in different interpretation and I swatched these babies. I'm gonna try to show you swatches somewhere here and uh, I'm quite happy to to dip my brushes into this. Uh, the retail price is obviously not cheap, but the colors performed quite nicely on my hand, so I'm very excited and we're gonna create some lovely looks. So let's just wrap our eyelids. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, just like, you know, something stable that I know how it works. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for some clean brush because I see where I wanna start. And I think that out of all the colors we have in this palette. I do want to start from Heavenly Grace color. That's a very lovely color and I'm going to basically just apply this all over my eyelid and this color, you know guys, you know the drill just to clean out the eyelid to make sure that there's a beautiful canvas on and this is a lovely color if you want to apply this on the top of the concealer if you're using that beautiful combo to create canvas for other colors. Alright, so it does blend really nicely. It doesn't have a lot of fallouts and honestly, the formula is quite creamy and quite buttery then I'm gonna go with Empress Elegance, the second one. And I think I'm gonna use the same brush, because why not? And let's apply this towards the outer portion and kind of like blend this closer to the crease. Again, kind of creating a shape for the eyelid. Okay, so everything's blending very nicely. I'm quite happy to see this color payoff and, you know, to see how buildable it is. So it's always a good start. Okay, the same color I'm gonna use for my lower lash line. So I'm gonna just use use some flat brush and buff it underneath my eyelid. Okay, so I have this crazy color here. Let's play with this. I mean, what else we're supposed to do? This color called Opulent and this one I'm gonna... I need something that's gonna make it easy to pack the color on the outer portion. Ooh, well, this is quite opaque. Whoa, 
I'm not gonna go far, I'm gonna kind of like end this color, the crease area, but let me just try to build it. Circular motions very fast, very small circular motions. And when there's less product on the brush, I'm going a little like up. Okay, it's actually looking pretty good. Let's do the same over here on our right side. It's so sunny outside and it's so deceiving because I know how cold it is and I still wanna go out because it's freaking sunny and so beautiful. The trees are gorgeous and oh, I don't know what to do. I just already got a sore throat and um, I'm trying to avoid any extra cooling experiences. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I don't wanna get cold without you know necessarily having a need to go out. I'm such a summer person, it's creeping me out. Okay, it's looking good to me. Now I'm thinking, shall we add a little bit of that blue color to my lower lash line as well? We probably should, at least to outer portion and kind of like get it into the center a little bit here. That actually looks quite cute. Then it's very difficult for me personally to find the color that's gonna kind of complement this look because there's so many beautiful colors and uh, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. What do you guys think? The majestic one it just looks so cute it looks so crazy crazy cute Ooh. yes please oh gosh holy moly this is nuts this is just crazy beautiful wow i'm like obsessed is it like stunning like absolutely stunning it truly is like literally literally beautiful next i'm gonna do wings and i'm just gonna use my liner real fast to create some wings and i think i'm gonna use my stila liner that i've been using this couple past days it just have been such a lovely liner to use it's so easy and so non-problematic that's what i wanted it's looking good to me and then i'm gonna use black liner mm -hmm. let's use one size liner and i'm just gonna kind of like add a little bit of the definition to my water lines both top and bottom and then i do want to go around with my first brush i use and just to you know i want to clean up this whole area make sure nothing looks fresh and not blended and i did apply powder underneath my eyes before doing all of the situation but i just want to add a little bit more of a powder just to make sure that you know i'm not getting crazy under eye look after an hour of wearing this Okay, I'm gonna use the same color to highlight my inner corners because I feel like this is just everything we needed and I don't wanna add more because it's already looking stunning. So I'm just applying this in the inner portion. Gosh, this is so stunning. I'm just obsessed. It's such a bold look, but guys, this look is everything. Like literally, I haven't done this look for a very long time and I'm here for it. Like, gosh, this is stunning, stunning. Next, I remember that I didn't throw brush through my eyebrows so I'm gonna just literally brush through them very lightly with my brow gel and let's add you coats of mascara I am using polite society mascara and I told you guys that I got this in my last box it's not like I got this I chose this it was like add-on and I came back to loving this again even though the first impression after such a big break was quite confusing now I'm loving this again so that's my go-to mascara for these days so now when our eye look is ready and we're massively happy with that let's check out my last product and this one is going to be from kevin aquan and this is going to be a lip liner so this is kevin aquan unforgettable lip definer in minimal that retails for 25 dollars so it has 24 months of a shelf life has a lip brush on the side it has 1.05 grams six colors available and what's good about this actually so kevin aquan guys i feel like everybody knows him it's it's a legend it's a legend like literally big legend and i have such a high hope for this liner it's crazy but the thing about this liner so he has a theory that lip liner should match your lip color in order to make your lip fuller so the lipstick that's gonna be on the top in combination with this liner it will give your lip an illusion of it being fuller which is lovely this is definitely not my lip color but i didn't have any choice and i'm very excited actually to try this color this is so different i'm just very very excited to try this so i'm just wiping my lips again and i'm gonna go over with this liner it's really difficult because first of all i had a lip oil it's really hard to get rid of the excess of a lip oil but i'm already obsessed with this color what i see it's truly so lovely looking also it is a wooden liner so you definitely have to sharpen it 
It's like that old school liner, but honestly, I'm saying old school, but yeah, Dior launched recently liners in the same, literally the same package. You know, actually, let me show you. Here's two of them. I mean, it's not a new concept. It's just something that's been kind of coming back at some point. So I'm not quite sure is it super emollient by itself or it's just the fact that I had the lip oil on, but it does go on very nicely and very smoothly. And then I have a lipstick from Bite Beauty. It's a discontinued one because they don't exist anymore, but I do want to add this color to my lips as well. And here you have it, guys. Here's the final look that we created using this product from my uh, this month's Ipsy Glam Back Plus aka Boxy Charm by Ipsy. I'm looking at my eye look and I'm really hoping to see the same payoff that I see in my camera, like in my view right now on the screen after actually putting this out, putting this video live because it's just insane. Like literally the colors, this shift, this shimmer, gosh, this is to die for. Eloise killed it. I didn't even expect to see such a crazy look. I didn't expect it. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect it. But overall, I want to say that I do really enjoyed this Makeup Forever setting spray. I'm gonna keep using this. It's definitely refreshing. Maybe it's not that ride or die product, but it's really nice and lovely. And if you have ability to get this in box like that, I would definitely get this. I do want to really quickly go through my other choice section because we kind of like missed that point. And if you look at this picture, you see that there was eyeliner duo from Luna Magic that I wasn't quite curious about. You know my thoughts about uh, eyeliners do. There was a body lotion from Frank Body. I like Frank Body, but I'm not in the need of another body lotion. There was eyelash grow serum. There was also cleansing mask and a baked powder. Not interested. But if you're looking at this section right now, to be completely honest, out of all of these things, I really, really like Tarte blushes. And I didn't get them because Guess what? I already have them and I love them. They are lovely. The formula is great. It's a dupe and it's not cheaper dupe than Charlotte Tilbury one. So it's, it's just a dupe. So you can pick and choose whichever one you like. I did the whole video about this. I'm gonna try to find it and link it down below if you want some comparison. There was also blow dry cream oil to foam cleanser and um, I actually like Tula skincare but at this moment I really wanted to try something from Kevin Aquan and that's that's what I did. Speaking about Kevin Aquan, um, I'm going to play with this liner more. It's a lovely color, definitely bolder. I think it's a quite solid formula so I'm excited to keep using this. If we're talking about this trio, honestly I'm so tired of palettes like that, I'm not gonna lie. I never reach for these products, never reach for these palettes. I always play with products by themselves. Like I always play with different things, so it's not necessarily the first choice I would make if I'm, for example, traveling. So that's something for you to know. The lip scrub, I mean, it's a sugar scrub, okay? It's a sugar scrub for your lips. That's no matter what, it's gonna make your lips feel softer because it's gonna scrub your lips and it's a physical exfoliant. So be gentle about this and definitely find the option that's even cheaper than that. But if you got this, it's gonna last you forever because it's definitely a little goes a long way. Okay, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really hoping to improve a lot of things around me and uh, as far as it goes I just want to know what do you guys think about you know my overall background choices if you have any ideas obviously leave me a comment down below also if you tried any of these products or you want to try any of these products let me know in the comments down below and like always let's learn the Ukrainian word and today I decided to tell you how to say an apartment in Ukrainian so if you want to say apartment in Ukrainian you would say it like like квартира, квартира, квартира. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. I love you all very much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.